Okay, so hi. Um, quick video before I go eat my late dinner because I'm not hungry and I want to go to sleep. But yeah, I thought I'd make a quick video before that because I bought some clothes, I want to open it and then um, wear them out. So just wanted to make a new video just to update my channel because yeah, since there's lots of people that seem to be new, I was like, all right. Plus, I'm saving up for a Tesla Model Y, so watch my ads, subscribe, like, Patreon, buy me coffee. But um, yeah, no OnlyFans though, because who am I gonna do it with? And um, yeah, I'm not that kind of gal. So yeah, I'm using the wide angle lens this time. I don't know how clear it might end up, but I was like, um, the wide angle lens will carry, capture, carry. It will carry, the wide angle lens should capture more so I shouldn't have to like be like in frame too much. Um, so yeah. Uh, I am wanting to buy a new phone. I do want to buy a new phone just to have like a more like better setup because I don't really like how I'm setting up for videos now. Just because I don't want to use my Sony Alpha, it's like an old one that overheats really quick so I don't want to try it even using it at all. Uh, so the best one is just using my phone. So I'm using a phone with like a dresser mirror in the behind it and then yeah it's not like the best thing because I'm not making myself look the most attractive but who cares. Um, especially when I got this one weird comment that I was like you're not like exactly handsome but something's attractive about you. And I was like, mm. <laughs> so anyways um, yeah so yeah, it's the evening right now, um, and I'm trying to finish this up really quick because I want to go eat and sleep. Um, because on, uh, yeah, in the weekdays I really don't sleep as much as I should, and um, and then on the weekends is when I look forward to just waking up at 7 in the morning and not 5.30. So on a positive note for myself and not necessarily the rest of the world, is that where I'm from, the state and the country is slowly opening up and everything seems to be more safe now. So I bought some new clothes and I was like, yay, because I haven't bought anything in a long time. Uh, do I have an eyelash on my eye? Give me a sec. <laughs> oh, this room. You want to see how my setup is? It looks like um, that. <laughs> eyelash is gone. Um, I'm wearing this and these. Uh, hopefully, I don't fat as heck, but yeah. Um, going back on my last video, Team Meat is actually also an, is also an Australian brand. Yeah, because you know, I don't know, like Australia is really for the gays. So, anyways, yeah, I bought some tops from ASOS. Um, and they're right over here. So an unrelated but related story was that, I guess, earlier in the pandemic, Topshop slash Topman was going bankrupt or something, and I guess ASOS bought him, which is a good thing, I guess, but also a bad thing because I'm sure that means, like, more ASOS clothes are just going to look like Topman clothes and I get less variety. And then, uh, like, when it comes to, like, sales, they'll probably be in line with ASOS sales, so... There's no like real competition in pricing and stock and design. So yeah. So in here is like part gym, new gym clothes because I'm sort of tired of all my tank tops that I have. Some tank tops I have holes in them, but um, they can still be worn so I don't lose them just yet. And then um, I'm just buying clothes, I guess, to be more social when I, when I, the day I do become, I don't know, I, I don't even go out that much, but if, when I do want to go out much more, I'll have more clothes to make me feel like joyous and peppy, I guess. So there's like six things in here, all tops. Um, I'm more okay with buying tops online, but when it comes to like jeans and things, I really like to try them on before I buy them. So those I really like to go to a brick and mortar store. Um, but these are I'm fine with because I'm a large but 
not like an ideal large, so when I wear them, they're like really droopy. I could just stuff them in my pants. Um, I tuck them in. So, yeah. Because this gal needs legs. So I guess the nice thing now is that I have more of a wider range of a budget since I am making more money, but I'm also saving that money for that Model Y and other things. So, yeah. Um, these are still all less than 20, but more than 10. I don't know what this is. It's just a gray shirt. Oh, I know what this is. So yeah, for me, I like to buy tank tops that I can wear at the gym and just casually outside without looking like the athleisure type kind of person. So this is a tank for so like a, not this kind of tank, but just like a t-shirt with a cut off sleeve situation. Looks like this, oh, backwards, sorry. No, it's not off. It's not backwards. It's on the back. It's kind of off center. So yeah, um, I don't know if you know, but I work at a veterinary school, so very appropriate. And just the front is plain, so it's the back. So cute, off center, dog tank. Is it off center? It is off center. Okay. Anyways, that's why I was on clearance, I guess. And then more on like a hypocritical sort of standpoint, I just mentioned I don't want to look like an athleisure person, but I saw this really cheap. So it's MSRP for 30 bucks, but it was like 11 when I saw it online. And it's just this Puma shirt. It's supposed to fit nice, but it's large and I don't know how it's going to look on me, but the cuffs, what is it called? These are cuffs. I think these are cuffs, but yeah, the t-shirt part is cuffed, ribbed, cuffed, ribbed. And it's just like a little glowy Puma logo, if it shows. And then back on the casual train, um, as a comic book nerd, and then I just saw this as like a oversized tee, so it shouldn't look like a regular shirt is this Batman shirt I saw. And I just like the print. I'm not like the super most biggest Bruce Wayne lover, but I do have a, what's it called, blender bottle of with Batman, but I was because that was cheap and yeah. Ideally I should have wanted the, I would have wanted the Superman one, but there was no 32 ounce bottle. So yeah, this is from the, some brand called New Look. Looks like this. Does it look oversized? So yeah, it's more for like the baggier fit, so if I do wear like tighter pants, this makes it look more balanced in a way. And I can just roll up the sleeves and yeah, look a little more sessionable. The only thing I don't like about these is like, I'm not sure how this is gonna wash because one thing is like, if I buy from like Hot Topic or something, those shirts, the print is really bad. It like washes off and crusts off, so. Hopefully this is a little better. And then this is just like a workout tank. I mainly got it because it was like a racer back. And then when you look up racer back on ASOS now, there's not much good ones that I saw or weren't much in selection at all. So I got this. Because if you look on my Instagram, you know I like those really like droopy eraser backs. And since Top Man is gone, it's more in line with ASOS now because ASOS owns it. They don't they don't make that or I don't know. They don't make the racer backs that I bought from Top Man before and Top Man, or ASOS makes their own racer backs, but there aren't as many that I saw online. This one looks like this. Um, I don't know the brand. It's called New Look. It's the same brand as this one. 
It's in the same brand as the Batman shirt, but this one's like their athletic line, I guess. And it has a racer back. So I was like, ooh. Yeah. And then like the logo in has like, it's not like as on the nose as ASOS is like athletic line with the like 4505 or whatever. So yeah, I got this one. And then lastly, I got this like polo. I don't remember why I got this. I mainly got it because it's like an earth tone sort of thing where it looks kind of like you're wearing nothing because it's like skin colored. Um, and it might be because it was originally expensive and I got it relatively cheap. So. So I got this polo in large. I don't really have many polos since all of the ones I bought previously I don't really fit into anymore. So I got this one from Le Breve. Le Breve. Can you see this? Le Breve. La Brev. <laughs> yeah. And then I am um, today I went to the mall just to buy some stuff for my coworkers' baby shower and I was like, oh since I'm here I'm gonna go look into my usual stores just to see what the sales racks have. Um, I did manage to find a pair of jeans for seven dollars, so I guess I'll just wear it with that. <laughs> so so this is like my first time back at the mall since the pandemic happened. Um, I still went with the mask, just uh, out of like awkwardness, I guess, because I don't know how to feel without it on. The only time I'm actually like not gonna wear a mask is in the gym, just because it's so damn hot in there, and I need to breathe. So yeah, um, but when I was buying some stuff at Mini So, I was like sweating because it was like so stuffy. But anyways, um, back to this. When I was wearing a mask in this, the fitting room, I also was like wearing like that. So yeah, it's still stuffy even though I generate a lot of heat and I was wearing like short shorts and um, a tank top. But anyways, uh, back to these. I bought this because I wanted like I don't. I just wanted like jeans that already have pre-made holes because when you make holes yourself, and that you're never satisfied, and then if you go too crazy, then you kind of like lose your pair of jeans. So um, I saw these for $7 and I saw they were stretch and then I saw another pair that was acid wash and I was like, I always wanted acid wash jeans. But when I tried them on, I guess the acid wash portion of it weakens the fabric or something. So when I was pulling it up with the belt loops, it like, I heard like a ch So I was like, nope. And also I don't look, I didn't look as nice in it. So I was like, uh, yeah, this can go back. For this one, I can, I, th I thought it looked a little better since it made me look a little taller. I can pull it a little higher and yeah. So yeah, it was $7 if you can like, see here. Yeah. So I was like, ooh, it's not a big loss if I don't like it or it breaks really easily. So, um, let me get to it. Since they're like mid-rise, it like goes up here, which is not bad. Yeah, so here we go. It's like I look all right, yeah, but I can look better if I just tuck it in. And I guess I can pull this a little lower because... Or... There. The balance of the mid-rise just loosen it a little bit. This is how I pull it up. Loosen it up, just stretch. And then you can get like a 
contrast in belt. And boom, I don't like I'm a zoologist. And it's like much better. So this one's very really like Jim Bro. Just imagine this in tights, yeah? But I mean, it's not bad like this either. But it's just that I'm not tall, so it's kind of like. But yeah, um, I do stuff my shirts in tights as well. Piece of bets. Next. So, on Instagram I follow a lot of like Korean fitness trainers and yeah, and they always, always wear like oversized tops. So, this is like my um, inspiration I guess. So back to where I'm going with the oversized tops and like tight pants. Here's another one. Stretch, stretch. And I guess if you really want it, you can do the split. There's no real point for me. But, yeah, this is like how I make clothes fit these days. And then I just need like a nice converse or something. So if you look at this one compared to the Batman shirt, you can obviously see like a fit difference. And then, yeah, this can be, my idea was that this can be both like a gym and a casual shirt. So this is like, I went from a zoologist in the field to a trainee firefighter. Okay, um, and then lastly, this one. So my only gripe with these is that sometimes they don't look as nice because these are cut in the in the good spot. But um, this was not bad. I have an H and M one that's like. That, like somewhere like this it just looked really odd so yeah it's that pink one from a long time ago on Instagram if you ever seen this is not bad though it's very like relaxed so I don't mind um, and then tucked in casually it looks like this is the dog still there okay So, there you go. Yeah, not bad. I obviously won't be wearing outfits like these right now since it's like goddamn hot here. But um, maybe towards the winter. So yeah, the moral of the story is tuck your shirts in because it's cool now. Slash when you're older. It's cool because you want to look tall and um, it's not lame anymore. So, yeah. Um, I do have some undies that aren't opened yet. Um, especially an Aussie bum package. I don't remember what I ordered anymore since it's been so long. And then I have a like um, Modus Vivendi one that's like zebra stripe something. It's like a jock. 
in a brief, I think. And I haven't gotten to opening it yet. Um, but I will eventually, just give me some time. I'm just updating to know that I'm alive and people who Patreon are Patreon members, um, you deserve a video. So here, that's, this is mainly for you guys. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll be back eventually. Don't know when, but when I make time, I will. So, adios. Um, like and subscribe. Um, be a Patreon member to nudge me to make more videos, I guess. Or buy me a copy. Um, and then for those regulars, thanks a lot. Um, it does mean a lot for me. And I'm sure to everyone else who wants me to make more videos. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's it for here. I'm gonna go eat now and then go to sleep and hopefully get at least six hours of sleep now. Um, yeah, bye.